Hi, my name's Matt. I'm with Flute Corporation. We're coming to you today from American Fork, Utah at the Heart Scientific Division of Fluke. I work in the Primary Standards Lab, where among other things, we make the triple point of water cell that I'll be showing you today. Triple point of water cells are used in labs throughout the world to calibrate and maintain precision thermometers. When properly prepared, this cell will provide a reference temperature for you of exactly 0.010 degrees Celsius. Now I'm calling it a triple point of water. What we're seeing right now is water as a liquid and water as a gas or a vapor. Obviously to make a triple point we'll have to introduce the third phase of water, solid. So we'll do that by freezing an ice mantle. In front of me, I have a bowl of ground up dry ice or frozen carbon dioxide. I have a spoon to scoop it with. I have a wire, a wire long enough to go into the well of the cell and stand there. I have a bottle of alcohol. We're going to put four drops of alcohol into the well of the cell. One, two, three, four. Let's get started. Let's try to fill it to the top. Dry ice will spill, that's okay. It evaporates into gas and won't leave a mess in your lab. Now, I'm starting to see forming what's called an ice bridge. But that means I've got solid ice freezing from the well right to the outsides. When that begins to happen, you need to warm it up and melt it away. If you let it go unchecked, it will break your cell. One of the most commonly asked questions is, how do I know when I'm finished? Or how thick does that ice mantle have to be before I can use it? The scientists I work for like to throw out the number eight millimeters. We want your ice mantle to be eight millimeters thick. Well, I haven't figured out a way to open that up and measure it with a, uh, with a pair of calipers. The ice mantle that we're seeing in there looks larger than it is. As I sit here and look at it, it looks to me to be just a couple of millimeters away from the edges of the cell down here. I can remove the parallax, I can remove the optical distortion by setting this in a beaker full of water. Everything is magnified, but it's magnified equally now. And we can see there's still quite a gap between the uh, ice mantle and the sides of the cell. So to summarize, we started off with a pre-chilled cell. We put four drops of alcohol in the well to act as a thermal catalyst and start the freezing. We tried to keep a full well of dry ice in an attempt to have a uniformly shaped ice mantle. When ice bridges began to freeze, we melded them with our hands to prevent breakage. For more information and to see the rest of this procedure, please visit our website.